What is up guys, Preston Rhodes here, and today I am gonna be unboxing something super exciting, brand new, state of the art, and something that I've really wanted to get my hands on recently. Prior to actually purchasing this, I had to do a little bit of research myself, understanding why I would even need something like this. So over the past few weeks, I've taken some time to learn a little bit more about how computers work, how the storage works, with the goal of running the most powerful and strongest AI or large language models locally hosted on my computer. I've always been an Apple product guy. Everything I do is pretty much Apple. I even bought the Apple Vision Pro at one point, and this has to be my most expensive Apple purchase yet, coming in at around 5,000 United States dollars at the time of making this video. My current setup is a M2 Pro Mini, which was around $800, $900 when I was first getting started out. It only has 16 gigabytes of RAM on it, so that pretty much means I'm limited to a very slow response time with the AI that I'm downloading locally, and I also can only choose and download models that are smaller parameter sizes. So they're not gonna be as good as if you had something like this, which is exactly why I got something like this. And so what is this? Well, this is the brand new Mac Studio M3 Ultra. Unfortunately, it's not the 500 gigabyte model, which runs DeepSeq R1 at 700 billion parameters, but it is still an insane computer and the lady at the store asked me, why do I even need this? And I told her AI. She's like, what about AI? I was like, everything you see in the Apple store right now says artificial intelligence. She's like, you're the only guy I've sold this to so far. And I was like, awesome. And she was surprised I just walked right in and got it. But yeah, um, this is like five times better than my current setup. So this runs six, 96 gigabytes of unified storage, which means that compared to my 16 gigabytes, this is gonna be able to run some pretty good 70 billion parameter models, which we're gonna be tapping into, and especially as they are starting to take these models off of Hugging Face and quantize them and make them more available with the new tech, we're gonna have access to pretty, pretty insane computer in just this small box. Leading up to purchasing this today, I was looking all over online for reviews. I was even using Grok and ChatGPT to do a breakdown of the different Mac Studios, the two different versions that they have, and then the three different versions of Gigabytes within those two versions that they have. Testing it out with like all of the available LLMs right now to find out what was the best you know, one for me. Was it drop 10K on the crazy one? Or, you know, if I'm just doing consulting AI automation, I just want, you know, to not break any NDAs with the clients I'm working with, setting up AI systems. This is gonna be huge. If you're doing 10, $20,000 projects and you're signing NDAs, you're probably breaking those NDAs if you're using or taking their IP and using AI with it. So it's very important that you, you know, invest into something like this. So guys, not only are regular consumers using this, people that are editing, you know, large videos like this, I'm gonna be editing this on the Mac Studio. This is shot in 4K S-Log, so it's a pretty big file, right? A lot of people that are editing, doing some type of graphics, but more importantly, this is built for large language models and AI specifically, being able to fit enough computing power. This is gonna give you access to the future, guys, and that's exactly why I bought this. So let's get into this. What do you guys think? All right, guys, it's time to see what we got. start off by the weight, it is super, super heavy. So we've got this right here first. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out. This is gonna give us the information about the computer, pretty sure. Yeah, just some basic stuff. And then Mac Studio. This is, guys, this is everything that comes with it. So you do need a monitor, a Mac monitor, to be able to connect it through the uh, USB-C port which is like a really good USB-C port as far as I'm concerned in terms of streaming on your webcam or DSLR as well. Guys, this is heavy as, oh. All right, then this part comes out, let's see. I wonder if there's even anything inside of this because I don't want to break it. I doubt there would be, this is probably just for protection. But either way guys, look at this, see that? Oh, 
Look at that, that's huge, it's thick. This is gonna, this is able to fit a lot of computing power into it, guys. Check out the back. It's upside down, obviously. It's got some cooling built into it. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not an engineer or a developer just yet, but I'm soon to be with this thing. Wow, this is heavy. And then what comes inside is gonna be this cord. It's gonna connect to that back area, right? And then, that can't be it. I feel like this gotta, this has to come open or something. That's it. They don't give you the HDMI cord? Like, luckily I have it, but I don't wanna rip this open in case I do have to return it, which I'm not just like the YouTubers who buy the cool tech. Just to return it, I bought the Apple Vision Pro, I didn't return it, I ended up selling it for $1,500. Yeah, I guess that's it guys, that's literally it. So, um, my next video, my next, my next video is going to be essentially how to set up the LLMs on here. But let me guys, let me show you guys how this is gonna connect to my setup, okay? So here's the size difference between the M2 Mac Mini Pro and the M3 Ultra. And then here's the difference on the back of them. Looks around like three times the size of it. So all we really have to do is plug in any speakers we have into here. Usually I don't use the HDMI cord, but uh, we have these two USB ports here. We got the power source, we got the ethernet. I'm gonna be plugging that in. And then we've got four power sources. So one of these right here is what we're gonna plug in our uh, Mac uh, display monitor into. So as you can see, this is my display monitor. We'd be plugging it in right there. Guys, thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. I'm not saying you should go and purchase this. I would wait for my next video going over why I actually got this in the use cases of getting a computer this powerful, but I figured not a lot of people are able to get their hands on it. So I wanted to reinvest from our communities, from our clients, invest it into better technology, which is something I preach to all of you guys and inside of our community. Make sure to comment down below if you wanna see my next video going over me installing LLMs on it, how I'm doing it and how they're running.